Hey everybody. I'm doing it for my phone again. Just because I'm so excited at my webcam. <laughs> so, alright. Let me answer these questions for you guys before my boyfriend and all of them come home and interrupt me. Alright. Alright, there's... Are you planning on breastfeeding? I answered this before, but yes, I am. For like the first week, if I can. Um, are you getting a 3D, 4D? I've already gotten one, but we're getting another one at like 36 weeks. So I can't wait for that. Um, birth plan. I don't really know yet. I gotta look into that. I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do for that. So I kinda have to look into that to see what I'm gonna do. Um, am I gonna take any classes? No. It's sixty dollars here to take a class and I don't have sixty dollars to go spend on a class that I probably won't even remember. Because it's not like you're in labor and you're like, hmm, what did I learn in class? You know what I mean? That's kind of my theory on it. Um, college or working after he's born? I'm going to go to online college. Working, I'm going to start like f like three or four months after he's born because Joey has a job now, so I don't really have to go straight to work, which helps me out a lot. Um, things I can't wait to do when I'm done with <laughs> Um, Actually, for my 18th birthday, which is right after he's born, it's August 19th, I'm going to get my nose pierced, and we're going to Makoto's, and then after my body loses the the baby weight, I'm getting a tattoo across my rib cage, like on the side, and curse where is my boob, saying Rylan Lee, which is his name. So I can't wait to do that, and I can't wait to lay on my back. I cannot lay on my back, as you guys all know, you're not supposed to. And that's how I usually sleep, so it, like, really sucks that I can't lay on it. So my body kind of, like, is mad at me, because it's, like, the most comfortable way to sleep, and I can't do it. Things I'm going to miss about being pregnant... Feeling him moving inside of me is really cool. Other than that, I've had a really bad pregnancy, being sick a lot and stuff. I've just now been okay. But now I'm always tired and stuff. I know it's pregnancy, but the main thing I'll miss is feeling him inside me. Kicking and moving and everything. Um, views on certain things like pacifiers and stuff. Um, I love pacifiers. Um, I actually had a pacifier until I was like 10 years old, but I hope he doesn't do that. And then um, co-sleeping. Um, I'm definitely going to have him in the bed with me a lot because everyone in my family is like that. So I know he's going to end up being like that to go to sleep. Um, <laughs> play on being tattooed and spy very little. And like I just said, I'm going to get the one across my cage and curse of saying his name. Just his first and middle name, not his last name. Because that's going to be, um, my boyfriend's last name, which is the father. So, um, hospital picked out for... Him is we're going to do it up here by us at the Cape Canaveral Hospital. I don't know if you guys are, and that is, it's in Florida, in um, Cape Canaveral, of course. And taking a tour of labor and delivery. Um, I might do that next time I go in. They have it on Sunday, so it's kind of inconvenient. Sunday's at 4. But I've seen it, and it's really nice, and they're actually, like, the best one in our county. So it's really good that I'm going there. And then there was another one, but I forgot it was. Trying to read it. Oh, future children, their names, and how far apart. We only want to have one more kid. I only actually wanted one originally, but Joey wants to try for a girl because we're having a boy. He just wants to try for a girl. If we don't get it the second time, then that's it. I don't. I don't want three kids. That's just me. I didn't even want really two, but I I do want a second one. That'd be nice. But we're gonna have them like five or six years apart because I don't want to. I don't want a toddler running around that I take care of like in demands and then have a newborn too. It's just too much for me to handle. So I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to do it where one at least is kind of self-sufficient, like where I could like leave him alone for a second, you know what I mean, or her, leave, like I can leave Ronald alone and go take care of the newborn, you know, if that makes any sense. And future names, I wouldn't know really another boy's name if we have another boy, but a girl's name is going to be Hayden, it would be Hayden, because that's what it would have been if it was a girl this time. We already have that picked out, and that's not going to change. And let me make sure there's nothing else. That seems to be it. Sorry if I kind of rushed through it. I'm trying to get this video done before they get home, and they're on their way, so I don't know when they, they're going to be at it when we're walking. So I'm actually going to show you guys my belly real quick, because it actually grew. But I'm going to show you while I'm sitting down. All right. This is my belly with the shirt on. You can see it. And then, that's my belly. Do you see how big that is? This is all... That's not my boobs, by the way. 
that's my rib cage. And um, I'll baby. I'll sit up a little bit so you guys can see it. Hold on. There you go. He's definitely getting a lot bigger. And I think he bruised my rib cage on the right side because I can't even touch it and without being like an excruciating pain because it's so sore. So I think he bruised it. But that's my question and answer video for you guys. And I will see you guys for week 29. Well, I am 29 weeks, but I'm going to do it in a couple of days. Or I might just count this one as it. I don't really know. It depends if I have stuff to talk about. But I have my appointment too. So I'll probably get on here and tell you guys I have a doctor appointment. All right. Bye.